Super yeah, Mario. man. Well done to every single one of our team members. And of course, to every one of you who called in to make your pledges for this very, very worthy cause. Now, today, the 29th of September marks Word World Heart Health Day, and uh, the Heart and Stroke Foundation of South Africa is currently on a mission to reduce the global goal to uh, or, or the global goal, or reaching that global goal of 25% reduction in premature deaths from cardiovascular diseases. This by 2025. Now, heart disease is still the world's number one ranked killer, and we're honoured this morning to have the CEO of the Heart and Stroke Foundation, Professor Pamela Naidu, to tell us a little bit more about what's happening with regards to this year's Word World Heart Day. Good morning to you, Professor. Thank you so much Good for being here. Good morning to you. Thank you for having me. Excellent. I'm looking at the poster World Heart Day, September 29th. It is today. Tell us about the theme. Right. So we basically follow the World Heart Federation's um, theme, mm -hmm. which is Power Your Life. And so the, it, the play is really on the word power. Um, and so it's about empowering people around you as well, just to have better heart health. Yes. Um, and that's because uh, globally you've got 17 million people who die from the disease mm, um, mm, mm. annually. Yeah. And in South Africa, it's about 18% of uh, people between the ages of 30 to 70 mm -hmm. um, who die from cardiovascular disease. And, right. and, but that includes stroke as well. Yes. So heart disease <coughs> and stroke. Yeah. And when yeah. you think about it with regards to the theme, power your life, the power does really reside in your hands as well because there's certain changes you can make. And I understand that also this year that you're focusing on uh, three key areas. Firstly, uh, young people and rheumatic heart disease. Tell us a little bit more about that, because right. we did feature it on the show, but just a bit of a reminder right. um, and fact-checking. Okay, so, so the global target of uh, the one you mentioned earlier, 25% reduction in uh, premature deaths mm -hmm. by the year 2025, there's an addition to that, and that is to reduce uh, deaths in the under 25s okay. as well. Okay, yes. And that's kind of linked to rheumatic heart disease. We find that in South Africa, about 275,000 young people, mm -hmm. that includes young children, um, who die from rheumatic heart disease. So it affects directly and indirectly about 33 million people because, you know, you've got families and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. dependents and so on. So, so it is quite. So what happens actually is that it's, um, it's kind of historically linked to a disease of poverty. Okay. So if there's, you know... Um, unhealthy conditions, you can uh, get a bacteria that basically affects your heart. Yes. And so you end up with cardiovascular ill health. But antibiotics can help? Yes, it can. So I think that's really crucial because uh, it is preventable. But I think that what we'd really like to drive um, with the South African Heart Association and the Hatter Institute at UCT mm -hmm. is that because it is preventable, we, we need to impart the knowledge yes. and awareness to, to <clears throat> parents and you know, other people around the country who um, are at the core face of, of young people. Mm -hmm. um, they really, if you, you know, if you get to a doctor on time and you get emergency care, it's, it's really preventable. And so, we'll give you information yeah. at home now about how you can get your heart condition tested for free. But lastly, uh, tell me about the um, cardiovascular diseases associated with pregnancy, because that's also one of your focus areas. Right, yeah. So, so that's really an important aspect, because what often happens is, you know, we tend to talk generally about these conditions. But we fail to realize that actually there are subgroups of people who are more affected. Mm -hmm. Uh, and when they're more affected, they're also badly affected. Now, women, unfortunately, um, you know, it's age and stage as well. But uh, so young women are prone to also rheum uh, rheumatic heart disease. But the reality is we have also one of the highest maternal deaths in the world mm -hmm. and infant deaths, which is slowly coming down. But it's really linked to hypertension, okay. which is increased blood pressure. And that's the one of the biggest risks for cardiovascular disease on set. Yes. Yeah. Well, Professor Nadi, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really do appreciate uh, you waking up so early to tell us about such an My important pleasure. thing. Now, yeah. during the months of September and October, you can get your heart disease risk factors tested for free at any DISCIM branch. Now, this initiative is being run in collaboration with the Heart and Stroke Foundation. And if you want more information, the number to dial is 0860143278 or 0860 heart